Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're going to talk about enabling the onboard graphics on a particular motherboard. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind that are very important, very important. Make sure your chip, your processor, your CPU supports onboard graphics. A lot of them don't. And so trying to enable the onboard graphics uh, on a computer running a chip without integrated graphics support is a waste of time and uh, is not ever going to work. Uh, so Google it, just Google your chip and find out. Number two, uh, these onboard graphics ports are slow. And what I mean by that is for gaming. You can watch videos, browse the internet, check email, do anything you want in general on the, these ports except gaming. You cannot game on them well at all. Lastly, when you go into your BIOS, you're taking a risk. It's for experienced users. Um, this is level one stuff for those of us that are experienced, but do be aware that you could screw things up by going into your BIOS. So uh, do be willing to take that risk and know that that risk does exist before doing so. Now with all the disclaimers out of the way, let's move on and look at how to enable the onboard graphics. All right, let's talk about a Gigabyte Z490 board. Specifically, this is a Z490 UDAC, but the procedure should be pretty similar on all their Z490 boards. Typically, you start off in what's known as easy mode. We want to hit F2 to go to advanced. And you can hit the left and the right arrows to move your cursor across, just like in most BIOSes. And I'm going to go over to settings and I'm going to hit the down arrow to go to IO ports, hit enter. Then I'm going to hit now our initial graphics output. That means the primary display adapter. If you have a graphics card it should almost always be PCIe one slot one because that's the slot you should have your card in and you want your graphics card to be the primary graphics adapter. Now, when you go down to internal graphics, you see it's set to auto. Typically, auto means if there's a video card installed, disable the onboard video. That's typically what auto means. So if you have a graphics card installed, the onboard's automatically going to be disabled. If you want the onboard video to be enabled while there's a card installed, hit enter on this and go to enabled. That will enable the onboard graphics, uh, even though there's a video card installed. I believe aperture size, I think, is for setting aside video memory. Um, you probably might want to Google that, but I'm 99% sure that's what that means. Um, but I don't want to change mine. I'm going to change mine back to auto because I, I don't really don't want to, my, my onboard graphics enabled. But you go hit the right arrow until you go over to save and exit. And then choose save and exit setup. Save configuration and reset. Yes. Now, when you go into Windows, you may have to install the Intel integrated graphics driver manually. Um, a couple of things could happen, and I've seen all three of these. Number one is um, you just boot it up and you just let it sit there for a couple of minutes, and then suddenly the Intel graphics are installed. Sometimes you have to go to Windows Update. That's in the settings, so start, settings, Windows Update and tell it to check for updates. And that'll install the drivers. And lastly, sometimes the drivers just never install. And you have to actually go to Intel and download Intel's onboard integrated graphics and install them. And then your onboard graphics will be enabled in Windows. They're already enabled in the BIOS, but you just need to do that to get them working in Windows. Hopefully that helps. Almost all Gigabyte Z490 boards will follow this process.